Well, hey, Cats fans, welcome to another edition of the Wednesday News Wrap. My name is Ben Reeve, and we've got a little bit to get through today. But before we do that, quick shout out to our Patreon supporters, Sarah, Luke, Kevin, Stephen, Kiri, Duncan, Edward, Rachel, Matthew, Sam, Phil, Denzel, Jackie, Joey, Gad, Gerald, Jared, Joey, Josiah, Chad, Kieran, Jody, Liam, Steve, Morris, Jared, Gad in space, and Ellie. I nearly forgot one there, but I got them all. So thank you to you guys for all your support uh, on the channel. Really, really appreciate it. All right, so the Cats had a 18-point loss to the St Kilda Football Club. Oh, no, that's a tough one. I don't know if I've got over it yet, but we'll have to because footy does go on and life goes on and we can't be in the, the den and the dumps and the, the, the sad. We can't have the sad face on forever, can we? But, yes, it was a missed opportunity, a very big missed opportunity for a top two finish. It's still a possibility, a very remote possibility of a top two. All the planets, yes, all of them will need to align this weekend. If we are if we are realistic possibility of finishing second, more likely third or fourth, I think Cats fans, that's where it'll be. Uh, but Austin Humphreys, he was awesome. The Cats in the first half were awesome. We came out of the game with no injuries, and that's all I can find positive to say on that one. Uh, it was a horrible turnaround after half time. And congratulations to St Kilda supporters. I'm sure you enjoyed it. I know you don't like the Cats. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was that grand final. A couple of years back, ten years ago, but uh, you got to get over it, uh, Saints fans. You got to get over it, uh, just like we do with Hawthorne. <laughs> Clearly not. Uh, no, let's move on from that game, though. We've touched on that, but we before we move on to getting into next week, let's have a bit of a look at the VFL. So the the VFL team, the men's team, have qualified for the qualifying finals. Uh, so finished fourth in the end. Uh, had a thirteen point win over Sandringham. Mitch Hardy. Yes, he's done it again. Uh, 29 touches, two goals, 12 tackles, and eight clearances. Is that going to be enough for him to get a debut against the West Coast Eagles? You be the judge. Let us know in the comments below. I imagine there'll be a lot of people that will want uh, him to get a game, but we'll see. So we finished fourth. We've got a week off because there's a wild card round in the VFL. Yes, wild card round, uh, seventh versus tenth and eighth versus ninth, and then after that, we're back into back into it again. Uh, Cats to play Werribee, I believe, top place Werribee uh, in the first qualifying final. That could be a tough one. I'm probably not expecting us to win that one. Hopefully, we can pull uh, something off, though, and it'll be nice uh, if we could, but uh, I'd probably expect Werribee. Just looks a bit too good this year. We'll see how we go. Uh, we'll see how many AFL-listed players are, are in that team on that day. There might be a few that want to that maybe get a look at uh, at the senior level, um, possibly. We'll see. All right. So now I did a poll. I did a poll on Twitter last night, and I was asking – it was about Sean Manor, and I was asking everyone what do they think. Are we about to see the long-awaited debut of Mr. Mitch Hardy? Is it going to happen? Did I say Sean Manor? I meant Mitch Hardy. I don't know. Uh, it's Mitch Hardy I'm talking about. Is it going to happen? Is he going to play this week? I think uh, I think he will. What – my opinion's worth. I think this is this is the moment. Uh, the fans were split, though. It was 50-50 down the middle, absolutely 50-50 down the middle when I last looked at it about an hour ago. Uh, 50% said, yes, he's playing. Let's F and go. And uh, the other 50% said, no, nah, never going to happen. So what do you think, though, if you haven't had a chance to, to vote on that poll? Uh, I think it's closed now, but let us know in the comments what you think about that one. All right. Now, there is a little bit of news happening here. We have some contract watch news. A couple of re-signs or extensions of contracts through the week. Jack Henry has extended until 2029. So that's good news for Cats fans, even though there's a few out there that are a bit grumpy with Jack from time to time. He was excellent on the weekend, by the way. Uh, And Zach Guthrie is also extended to 2028. Can you believe it? Rookie listed Zach Guthrie. Oh, he's going to be a 10-year player for the Cats. He's, uh, he's, he, I can't believe where he's come from and where he is now. It's fantastic. The one contract we haven't quite signed yet, and it, Paul did a video about this one through the week, Christian Prochaka, are you coming to Geelong or what? Hurry up, make it happen. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to happen, Cats fans, but we can dream for a little bit, can't we? The, the idea of him coming to Geelong would be fantastic. It's just what we need. Uh, will it happen? Probably not. Probably not, but let us dream for just a little while. He's not 
He'll it'll be one of these ones you'd imagine he'll just recommit to Melbourne again. It'll all be he's got all these issues with the club and they'll sort it all out and they'll make him happy again. And and in the in the meantime, everyone's just been teased with the possibility of having Petrarca on their list. So it wasn't meant to be. Uh, a big happy birthday to Cam Guthrie. I don't know how old you are. You're probably about 32 now. Hopefully I haven't thrown an extra year or two on you there, but let's get him back on the field next year. Let's hopefully we can, I don't know if he'll be back on the field during the finals for the senior team. He might play some VFL finals. Um, but then again, Chris Scott did bring him back pretty quick straight into the team without a VFL game. So you never know. He might, he might see, see some uh, grand final action. If we make it that far, some finals action at the very least, that'd be nice. Another congratulations to Brad Close and his uh, now fiance Grace Ballinger on their engagement recently. So congrats to those two. Don't know when the wedding is. Still waiting for the invitation in the mailbox. I don't think it's going to come, um, but if it does, I'm sure I'll blog about it the whole day. Send some video, Brad. If you're listening, give me my invite. Uh, all right. Next opponent we've got is West Coast. They're currently ranked 16th on the ladder. We're playing them Saturday 145 at GMHBA Stadium, the last home game of the year. No more games at GMHBA this year. Unfortunately, AFL's drawn a line through that one. It's not happening. Uh, there will be a Tom Hawkins tribute. He's not, uh, he's not playing, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. He won't be named. And when the teams come out on Thursday, uh, there'll be at least some kind of tribute for Tom Hawkins. I'm not sure if it'll be a... A trip around the the boundary line in, on the back of a Ute or a or a video package or or what it'll be, yeah, but there will be something for Tom. Hopefully, it's something special, but we'll see. Hopefully, that's not the last time we've seen Tom. Uh, let's get him out there again if we can. Probably not next year, Tom. I think I think everything is pointing to you maybe finishing up this year. But if we get to see you again, whether it be through you just killing it on the training track and they can't resist putting you back in, or um, probably less preferred if someone gets injured and that's how you come in. But, you know, hopefully you get an opportunity regardless and we'll see how you go. Now, the last time we played the Eagles, it was a 47-point smashing uh, in round five, 2023. I think it was the gather round game, I think, in round 23 last year. Uh, Cats were up by a lot more than that, about 10 goals at one point, but we just sort of eased up a little bit, didn't really need to go too hard there. Uh, and the margin was back, back down to 47 points. We've had some massive wins against West Coast over the years. I'm hoping it's another 100-point win this weekend. We do need that if we're any chance of finishing top two. around A win in the range of 80 to 100 points is probably what we'll need percentage-wise, and we really need uh, Port Adelaide and GWS to maybe drop a game as well. If we're going to play a final in Victoria, that's where it's at. Uh, the last time we played, Jezza, Hawkins and Closey kicked four goals each, so 12 between, and they actually had a, absolutely had a field day. Uh, we're currently on a four-game winning streak against the Eagles, so let's hope that turns into five. And the big stories of this week will be, other than the Mitch Hardy debut, uh, it should be Zach Guthrie plays his 100th game of AFL 40, so big congratulations to Zach Guthrie. And uh, Reece Stanley, Reece Stanley, if he plays, if he if he's picked, and he will be, will play his 150th game in club colours. So congratulations to those two. Uh, oh, here we go. Congratulations. There you go. Congratulations. All right, so the injury list. Now, there's a couple of players that are a test for this week. Tanner Bruin uh, coming back from concussion. He should be right to go, and you'd imagine he comes straight back in. Ted Colosi, uh, concussion as well. I'd say he will go back into the VFL. I don't think they'll rush him back to senior level footy. Uh, he might have seen the last of senior level footy this year, but we'll see what the finals looks like. Um, we, I don't know. I, I think we probably won't see Ted again. Uh, Tom Hawkins is still a week away, as I said. Sam DeConning is a week away after having some surgery. And uh, there's a few TBCs to be confirmed in Mark O'Connor, Cam Guthrie, and Oscar Murdoch. So I don't know where those are at. And uh, as we've said on the previous episode of News Wrap, uh, Toby Conway and Mitch Edwards are out for the season. So we're a bit light on in tall players or ruck, ruck position, really. All right, so as I mentioned, Tanner Bruin is likely to be in the mix. Uh, Jai Clark did okay on the weekend in the VFL. His name might come up again, potentially. Jed Buse, unlucky to be dropped. Um, is that the last game we'll see of Jed Buse? A bit like Tom, I don't know whether we'll see Jed again. I'm hoping that we do because I love him. Uh, and Ted Close, he was probably the other one. Oh, sorry, and Brendan pa Brendan Parford as well. He's another one that could come in. He had a, a really good game, 30-odd touches on the weekend. 
and about 12 tackles, I think, as well. So he was he was terrific. But last time he did play at senior level, it wasn't great. Uh, some other names that are probably not going to get a, a look in. Uh, Connor O'Sullivan, I don't think we'll see him again this year. Maybe not. Um, James Willis, I don't think. Oh, he's one that I wanted to get a debut. I was hoping he would. It's a small chance he gets a debut against West Coast, but I don't know. I don't. I think they'll want to get the percentage as much as they can, um, and maybe it'll be a, a tough decision. The selectors, maybe if we were in a slightly different position, we wouldn't have been as concerned about percentage. But I think that'll. I think we will be at least. Uh, well, hopefully we'll know. Come um, Saturday. Well, it was it's early Saturday? No, we won't. There'll only be one game played, so we're going to have to hope. We're going to have to get the percentage and then hope the other results go our way. So I'd say that we're just going to pick a pretty strong team and maybe not too many but debuts, if any. If any. I don't think we'll see any debuts from Foster or Stevens, Mur- Murdoch, Furphy or Jekka, so probably not those two. Uh, on to AFLW. The the uh, AFLW side had a 10-point loss in their practice game to Essendon at Windy Hill on the weekend. We're gearing up. Uh, to start round one in a couple of weeks' time against Melbourne. Uh, but back to the game for a second. Ashley Maloney ap- kicks an absolute ripper from the boundary. If you haven't seen the footage of that, check it out. It was incredible. A little check side from the boundary there. A couple of strong marks in the fourth quarter. first quarter. She was amazing. Uh, good news that K-Rock's going to be broadcasting some games, home games this year of AFLW, as they should. Yeah, we'd love to as well. We just probably don't have the you know, equipment or the... Whatever, whatever you need to broadcast games, I'm not sure. There you go. I don't even have the know-how. So there you go. Uh, but that'd be good. Uh, sad news, though. Chloe Shear is out for mid-season. That's going to be a big loss. But hopefully there'll be some other players that will step into that role uh, and uh, be able to dominate. Jackie Parry, hopefully, will be another one that will kick. You know, so she could kick 20-odd goals this year, wouldn't it? That'd be great. All right, that's it for the news for this week. Uh, so thanks, to everyone, for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Tell your friends. Uh, we'll be back. Well, Jake will be back, and the chaps, chat cats will be back on Thursday with their preview of the game against West Coast. So make sure you tune for that. If you're a Patreon subscriber watching this, Jake will be on. Uh, he'll be dropping his VFL preview of the twos uh, on Friday, I think, Friday or Saturday. might be Saturday, but probably Friday. Uh, and then we'll, I'll be back for post game live uh, on Saturday, early Saturday. I think it's about six o'clock or five thirty or something like that on Saturday. So tune in for that. Make sure you jump, you get in, join the conversation there. If you want to be a part of that conversation, I'll, I'll usually will drop the link in the chat on that one. Um, but if you're a Patreon member, I'll, I'll drop the link a bit early for you so you can join on if you want to. That's it, guys. That's me done for the week. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, or well, hopefully, hopefully you've got over the cats losing a little bit. Probably, hopefully you got over it more than I have. I'm still struggling with it. I'll get there in the end. Don't worry, I'll get there in the end. Uh, but until next time, go cats. See everyone. <laughs>